Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes, yes. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello. Okay. How are you? How was your day? Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay. What else is connect? Who else is connecting? Claudia, Maricela. Hello, Crisia. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Liliana. And Hugo. Okay. We have seven people. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes just to see if somebody else is connecting. We have Maricela, we have Jenny, we have Rufino. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, Hi. teacher. How is the weather there? It's raining? Yes, it's raining. It's raining right now? Okay. Yeah. Here in Santana, it's not raining. So hopefully we are we are not going to have any interruption. Okay. Very good. Now remember uh, that we have a homework, right? We have a, we had like a, an activity that we have to use, like the past tense, right? Did you do the homework? Did you do it? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we are going to practice in a while. Let's remember that the homework was to write five things you did during the day or yesterday or during the weekend. And we are going to create sentences, right? Like today I went to my job at seven o'clock. Yesterday I went to the park with my family, etc. So uh, we are going to begin. Uh, we are going to we are going to start with a couple of you. Uh, yesterday we have some examples, right? And so we are going to begin with uh, like five or ten participants. I don't know if somebody would like to begin with what you did today or what you did yesterday or during the weekend. Who wants to begin? Volunteers, voluntarios. Uh, it's up to you, teacher. <laughs> it's up to me. Okay, very good. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see how many people we have here, because we just want to start practicing. Let's see who. Let's start with Luis. Luis Enriquez, how are you? Good evening, Luis Enriquez. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day today? Uh, busy, but I'm okay. pretty busy. Okay. And what uh, did you do the homework? Did you practice the past tense? Uh, I practice, but uh, the work. Yes, I guess that we have like some connection problems. Is it raining where you are, Luis? Is it raining? No, no, it's not raining. But okay. I, I don't know why. I don't know why my connection is not good with with you. That that uh, same problem happened with previous class. With the previous, with the class. previous teacher. Yeah, I can yes, hear you I now. Don't know, I don't know. I don't know why my connection is not good with you. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. So, I'll okay. tell me what did you do during the day or yesterday or during the weekend? Can you tell me like some activities that you did? <clears throat> Today, I just I, I was busy, yeah, in my job. But but the, the the problem is that I feel like a sick. I have flu, and I don't know if the if the COVID nineteen. I don't know, but I I have the I have 
I really have sick like that. Okay. Okay, so you have been feeling sick. Have you seen the doctor or? or? Uh, no, no, because <clears throat> this is like a flu, a regular flu, but uh, I don't know, uh, I, I didn't see any doctor yet. Okay. I, I, think, I think by tomorrow we'll, we'll go to, to the doctor, but I just only have like a flu, nothing like more. Flu symptoms, like flu symptoms, like yeah. runny nose, like some a little bit constipated, like you don't breathe very well. Yeah, uh, the uh, headache. Headaches. Okay, you yeah. feel headaches, but you don't have fever. Yeah, a, a little bit. A little bit of fever. Okay. Okay, very good. So hopefully you will be uh, better tomorrow or you can see a doctor. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Thank you for your participation, Luis. Now I can hear you better. Thank you. Now yes, we are you. going we are going to um, review a little bit of the words, right? That Luis said, for example, if we say COVID, COVID is the sick that the pandemic, right? That we already know, everybody knows about that. COVID-19, COVID right? Regular flu, like flu is not like COVID-19, it's, it's a little bit common, right? So headaches, dolor de cabeza, verdad? Headaches. And feverish, we have, uh, when we have fever, we can feel feverish. We can feel kind of sick or a little sick, a little sick, kind of sick. Very good, thank you, Luis. Let's see another volunteer, please, to tell me what they did last, uh, yesterday or today. Me, me teacher. Okay, okay, Rufino. Yes, yes, this, this day I stayed, stayed in my house and I, I, I worked with uh, my computer in the, um, uh, I sent, sent uh, emails and uh, different clients. Um, uh, I, I played with my, my children this in my house. In other, in other things about, about job. Uh, well, uh, only, only, only things. <laughs> okay, very good. So you, you yes, yes, I understood yeah. everything you said. Uh, what is your job about? What is your profession? Uh, my profession is um, theology. It's in certain theology. If um, <clears throat> I work in the uh, uh, Seguros, uh, company, company Seguros. Uh, I, I am assessor. What do you, what do you say, assessor? Advisor. Advisor. Advi advisor. Advisor. Uh, mm -hmm. It is my profession. Uh, to to profession, I uh, advisor and secure uh, Seguros. I am. Um, yeah, licenciatura in ophthalmology. And on theology. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So you work in your computer, you send emails, also you played with your children, right? Yes. How many children do you have? How many children do you have? Uh, I have two children on that. Uh, a Two girl, children. a girl, a girl, and a boy. A girl and a boy. Very oh. good, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, Rufino. Okay, You're very good. So remember, he used a lot, a lot, a lot of verbs, like regular verbs and irregular verbs. Work is regular, right? And the past of work is worked, with a t at the end, con una t al final, un sonido de t. Worked worked what? and then sent email it's okay teologo is theologist for that seguro como decimos seguro how do you say seguro in english 
insurance. 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 Very good. Insurance. insurance. And he's an advisor. He's an advisor, insurance advisor. He works in an insurance company. He is a theologist also. And he has two children. He play with the two children he has. Now we're going to see something, somebody else. I want another volunteer. You can tell me what you did in the past days or today, for example. Okay, Jenny is raising the hand. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Before I start, I need to ask a question. Yes, go ahead. How do you say auditor in English? Auditor, like outdoor, like, like um, Hello? from editor como contable o como eh, sí sí puede ser un auditor contable así como las auditorías por ejemplo de calidad de seguridad de la información que se hacen en algunas empresas ok auditor es auditor right and oh. accounting auditor es auditor contable ok so that sí, would be no. like so that's si es un your... auditor de seguridad de la información, ¿cómo lo digo? Uh, auditor de seguridad de la información. Uh -huh. Like security information auditor. Security information. Ajá, uh -huh, security information auditor, yes. That's your job? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, this day I spend the whole day with um, attending to an auditor security information. Okay, so you spend the day with that person and what do you do with that person? Uh, I, I am, I, uh, how do you say? Uh, Encargada. In charge. I am in charge or I, I was in, in charge. Mm -hmm. I am in charge uh, about the uh, security information in my job mm -hmm. be because I I I spend a whole day with with this person mm -hmm. because he he is he he's uh, pedir a request uh, because he is request uh, some information mm -hmm. about the the systems implemented in in the in in my job okay so he was requesting information about the the system in your job you yes. work with computers or you are an engineering yes engineer? I, i'm a system engineer you're a system engineer so he was yes. asking you and how many hours did you spend with this person, with the auditor? Uh, seven, seven hours. Seven hours. Because it, this week uh, we we have uh, the auditoría anual. Uh huh. We have uh, annual annual auditor. annual annual auditor. Uh huh annual auditory mm -hmm. yes okay very good so it was a pretty busy day yes this day is is like a crazy it's crazy okay it's i understand crazy. so were you stressed out i don't understand the stressed question. out is like you were worried you were working a lot you were like Estresada, stressed out? Uh, really, no, because I like it, this this job, but okay. is is very uh, cansado. Yes, tiring. It's kind of tired. Tire. Uh -huh, tiring. It's kind. It's kind of tiring. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation, Jenny. We are going to give some feedback right now because you use. Um, your profession is uh, like very technical. So auditor is auditor, right? Eh, auditor. Seguridad de información, information security. Uh, como digo, estoy a cargo de, I am in charge. I am in charge of this, I am in charge of that. 
eh, me estaban solicitando, me estaban preguntando. I, I, been, I, I was requested or somebody was requesting for different information about the system. We can say the request is solicitar, ¿verdad? Pedir. Y auditoría anual, ¿cómo decimos auditoría anual? Annual audit, ¿verdad? Audit. Uh, annual audit. Annual audit, yes. I'm going to, to share uh, that vocabulary with you, probably because it's useful for you, right? So we are, I'm going to try to share it with you later. Vamos a ver a alguien más. Eh, another, another person who wants to participate. Me, teacher. Luis. Okay, Mr. Rios. Yes. Well, uh, this day was very hard uh, because um, I had to milk a uh, two cow mm -hmm. and I have never done it. Don't do it. Done it. It's yes. the first time. Mm -hmm. It's the first time. Then next, uh, cut, cut the grass. And in the afternoon, I went to look for a corralero to milk mm -hmm. to the city of uh, Nueva Concepción. Mm -hmm. Because uh, el corralero uh, que tenía. Mm -hmm. uh, se fue. It's, it's... He left. Uh, he left. Yes. He left. He left. Okay. Um, this, this is the day. It was day. The, this day. It okay. was today. Okay. It was today. And what is your profession? Because I, I, I heard that you work with cows. You have to milk cows. You have <laughs> to do with different like. Well. Um, yo estoy, eh, I am, um, pensionado, uh -huh. eh, retirado, because I, I am, I am advisor, because I am, I have degree in the business administration and marketing, uh -huh. and I, I, I am advisor for two Two companies, uh -huh. only for the internet and sometime in two two days or three days, I I I I go to San Salvador uh -huh. and travel two days or three days. This is this is my job because in 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 my uh, en hacienda mm -hmm. que tengo aquí en Chelate, mm -hmm. eh, I, me dedico a la, a, a, a la ganadería mm -hmm. with my son. Okay, very good. Very good. So you are not totally retired because you're still working, right? Yes. Okay. On so, work. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, very good. Thank you for your participation, Mr. Rias. Now, pensionado. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, very good. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo decimos pensionado? How do you say pensionado? Retired, ¿verdad? Retired. retired. I am retired. Cuando usted retired. Ya se pens retired, yeah. Cuando retired. Usted dice, I am retired. retired. I pensión, am ya retired. Pensionado. Eh, ganado, ¿cómo se dice? Cattle, oh. ¿verdad? Cattle. 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 C A T T L E, ¿verdad? I will try to write all of it, all of this. Uh, I will write it here and I will try to share it next class with you so we can practice okay. it. Yes. Um, okay. I would like to thank have. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Very good. I would like to have another participant, please, just to check chair? because we have a lot of uh, students. Okay, we have Maricela. Okay, Maricela, you can tell me about your day or your weekend, about what you did, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Um, yesterday, I can introduce myself. Mm -hmm. Can I do right now? Really? Oh, okay, yes, you can do it right now. Introduce yourself, your name, where are you from, and what are your, your expectations? Okay, teacher. Uh, okay, my hi. 
Okay. Okay, my name is Maricela. I live in San Pablo, Takachico, too. Do I read technical tourism administration? Mm -hmm. And my expectation for this course is to learn to speak English very fast mm -hmm. and to interact with different people of the different countries. Mm -hmm. Because maybe in my future, I, I, I'm going to travel to the United States. Mm -hmm. And I know that in this country, the English is very important. Yes, um, it is. Yeah. Okay, so your expectations are to speak fluently, right? To speak faster and to understand general ideas. Very good, Maricela. And I didn't know if you uh, heard about the, the the homework that we had before. Uh, I didn't yeah. know if you did, like, you, you, we needed to explain different things about that, what we did in the last days, for example, today or yesterday or during the weekend. Okay, um, yesterday mm -hmm. was a very good day for me because I, I visited to my grandmother mm -hmm. and we prepared different food for example fish chicken mm -hmm. and i really like mm -hmm. to stay with with her and today was very relaxed because i watched my my novel and mm -hmm. um, that's very good so you visited your mother And also, I grandmother. Your grandmother also. Okay. Hello. Yes. Okay, your grandmother. So you you visited your mother and your grandmother. Only my grandmother. Only your grandmother. Okay. Yeah. And you prepare food with her, right? <laughs> yes. Fish? Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Maricela. It's my favorite food. Your favorite food is, is fish? It's fish, yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> nah, I okay, really prob like it. Probably no. we, will, we will try it one day, right? Probably. Very good. Thank okay. you, Maricela. Thank you. Okay. So she visited her grandmother. And she um, watch is like, for example, TV, right? Watch TV, watch um, a movie. But if we see something, it's like people or different uh, things around. We, we, we visit people also, right? Uh, somebody was raising the hand also. Another participant, please. Uh, we have uh, Iliana, Balmore, Astrid, and Estela. Who wants to participate now? Estela, okay, very good. Go ahead, Estela. Tell me, what did you do last uh, weekend or today or yesterday? Bueno, uh, I traveled to San Salvador with my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, we, last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we returned on Monday morning. Uh, on Sunday with my grandmother, we went to church, iglesia. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, we went with my boyfriend to eat pizza. We because I love eating pizza. Mm -hmm. So I uh, when I got home, my banana smoothie of dinner. Mm -hmm. Today I work all day at home, and it was exhausting. Exhausting my day was gone. Okay, your day was exhausting, but it was it was good. Okay, very good. So um let me see. And what is your job about? Estela. Supervisor, um assistant, ayudante supervisora, assistante, supervisor. Uh yeah, the supervisor's assistant. Supervisor's yes. assistant, very good. And do you like your job? Do you like mm -hmm. your routine? Your daily routine? So-so. Mm. Sí. 
Okay, very good. Is it exhausting every time you have to work a lot? Or sometimes it's more relaxing. Some days are more relaxing than others. Bueno, esto bastante relajado, pero al mismo tiempo agotado. Okay, so sometimes it's very relaxing, but sometimes it's really tiring, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Stella. Okay, travel is a regular verb, okay? Travel. And the past of travel is traveled. Okay, travel it, travel it. No, travel. It ends with a D. We are going to practice pronunciation also in the past. We are going to have the last two, last two participants, okay, for today. Who wants to participate? Okay, Liliana, okay, Liliana. Okay, you can go ahead. Okay, um, well, yesterday I worked from home and I read The Man Who Sells His Ferrari of Robin Sharma. Mm -hmm. It's kind of motivational, but I really love it but I haven't finished it yet. Um, besides that, I ate pupusas with my mom at dinner and let me see what else. And I did my English homework. Okay, you did your in English homework. And what is the book that you were reading? What is the name of uh, the book? The Man Who Sells His Ferrari of Robin Sharma. Oh, and is it good? Or is it so yeah, so? It's, it's good. It's really good. It's okay. kind of motivational because it's like uh, he said that your mind is like a garden. And if you feed it with good thoughts, you're going to be positive and you're going to be able to overcome uh, bad moments. But if you are thinking too much or you are feeding your mind with bad thoughts, you are not able to overcome that situation. So I love it. Okay, very good. Probably I will read it. I like those kind of books because you learn a lot. And also, mind is powerful, right? If you think positive, positive, you will have positive things. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation, Liliana. And the last participant, please. The last one. Who wants to participate? My name is Christian. Okay, Christian. Okay, Christian, go ahead. Okay, teacher. And um, my day, uh, it was very good. Mm -hmm. I was in Santa Ana City with my mom. And yesterday, I was with all my family in the morning. And then I played soccer with my brother. Mm -hmm. And I work it. I work in my house with my father. Mm -hmm. And then I visited my grandma at 7 o'clock. And finally, uh, I got a series in, in my TV. Okay, very good. What is the series that you're watching? Uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. That, that's a really popular, right? Do you yes, like it? Do you like nice. the last season? Yes, I love it. You love it. Okay, very good. So, And you play soccer also, right? Yes, with my brother. Do you like play soccer or it's just sometimes you play? No, no. sometimes play. Okay, sometimes. Very good. Thank it's you very, very much. It's very hard. <laughs> yes, it's kind of complicated. Okay, thank you, Chris. Yeah. Okay, she thank played, you. she played soccer, right? Played. She worked. She worked also and she watched a series called Stranger Things. Very good. Now we are going to continue with the class. Thank you for doing the homework. Um, in the future activities, we are going to choose different people, right? Uh, we are try we, we will try to participate or the most of us, like Astrid, we have Tatiana, we have Levi, we have Balmore. Probably in the next one, they are going to participate. So we are going to begin with the class for today since we did the homework already. So I'm just going to share this. Okay, the objective for today is by the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English, for example, explaining 
where you were born and when you came to the United States, these English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. So we are going to uh, review a little bit of uh, the formulas, right? Just to check if we have understood the formulas. Yesterday, we reviewed the formulas with the past tense, with did, didn't, right? We did with questions, didn't with negative statements, and also um, the formulas, how to order, right? The, the different sentences. So now we're going to uh, work with the verb to be. So probably you will be able to say it better in this way. The verb to be, uh, we have the verb to be with different uh, pronouns. It changes, right? For example, I am, I was, right? You are, you were, he, she, it is, he, she, it was. We are, we were, right? That is the past of the verb to be. And it's really important to know it, right? So we don't get confused. So also they are, they were, right? And we have the examples that we were studying yesterday there. Where were you born? I was born in Argentina. Were you born in Buenos Aires? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Wasn't is negative, right? So it's different how we use the verb to be uh, because we don't use the auxiliary with the verb to be. We use uh, a different contraction or the negative is already in the verb to be. Um, also, with questions, we don't use did, right? For example, with other verbs, we use did. Did you take English class classes? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But with the verb to be, we don't use it. That's the only verb. That's the exception, right? And this is like the structure. Uh, it says I, he, she, it, was, and wasn't. Wasn't is the negative, right? It's a contraction, and it's negative. We, you, they, were weren't right weren't is negative and also we have the formula if we follow this formula we are not going to um, make mistakes we are not going to get confused for example first is the subject then is the verb to be and that is, then is the complement so that is a positive statement for example i was born in argentina or in negative i wasn't born in china so it's the verb to be with a ne negative statement, right? And then we have more examples over there. Uh, you were born in Argentina and you weren't born in China. So that's the only thing that we, we need to use correctly the verb to be according to the pronoun, right? According to the pronoun. And that is the negative form of the verb to be in the past. We have yes, no questions also, and WH questions. For example, uh, were you born in China? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't, right? That is one example. And the other one is um, with was, right? Was Mary born in China? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't, right? Yes, no questions. Also, we have WH questions. We have another example over there with just no questions. Was Peter born in China? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Or with a WH is the word where. Don't de verdad. Where. Where. Where you born. So we kind of get confused there because one is where. Donde. Where. And that is the past of the verb to be, right? We don't have to get confused. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in El Salvador, for example, I was born in Santa Ana, I was born in Santa Tecla, I was born in Chalchuapa, right? Different places. So we don't have to get confused. Let's see. We are going to continue with that. I just want to know if you have any question about uh, the past tense and the formulas, because we have seen different formulas. Uh, do you have any question about that? Questions? No questions? No, teacher. No, okay. Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Now, I don't want to uh, ask questions, so we are going to do a little bit of exercise, uh, a, a little exercise here right now. Let me see. You see here, that is the palette, that is a wall, and I will share the link with you right now. And 
once you have the link, you will be able to open it and you will write um, the sentence that I want you to write, right? I will tell you, for example, write a negative a sentence with the verb take. So you write a negative sentence in, using the past, in the past, right? With the verb take. For example, I didn't take um, the exam or I didn't take, um, I don't know, uh, the test today, right? Or for example, another, another verb would be do, right? I want you to write an, a negative sentence with the verb do, for example. I didn't do my homework, for example. So we are going to practice, practice like that and try to remember the formulas because in that way you will be able to write it correctly. So we are going to do right now. Let me see here. Just, I will, I will try to share it right now with you. Okay, so over there is the link. Try to go to the link and I will tell you what to write, okay? Now, I want you to write a sentence with a positive, a positive sentence, positive statement uh, with the verb, let's see, it. Positive sentence in the past, right? We are going to write only in the past, in the past tense. Now, if you just need to access the, the Padlet and I will show you how to write. Now, over here, you have a positive, a plus sign, right? A plus sign. So you just need to click here and you will start writing. For example, I ate pupusas today. And you press enter. Or, or publicar, right? Publicar. I ate pupusas. I ate pizza on Saturday night. Very good. What else did you eat? I ate lasagna last weekend. Very good. I ate lasagna. I ate a delicious stew yesterday. Very good. What else? I ate. I achieved my objective today. Very good. I ate a hamburger. Very good. I ate garlic shrimps. I ate a hamburger, garlic shrimps, I ate lasagna, what else? I ate a hamburger in the afternoon, a lot of hamburgers, a lot of, okay, very good, very good. Now we are going to write mm -hmm. a different thing. Yes, go ahead. I have, I have a problem, teacher. Yes. Hmm. What is the problem? You cannot, if you click the link, what happens? Nothing is it's, it's off. It's off? Yes. You just Let need to click, you do, if you click the link, it should open another, another window. Mm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. No. It doesn't open another window for you? No, no open. Okay. It's open. Let me send it again. Mm -hmm. Yes, because other people are writing. So 
So let me send it yes. again and probably okay. you will be able to to write something. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we have, I ate a hot dog also. I ate ice cream in my break. I spoke with my cousin today. Very good. I ate beans all the week. I ate chicken soup. I ate pupusas. Very good. Were you able to use it, Mr. Urias? Excuse me? Were you able to use it? Um, mm -mm. Let me see. Um. Okay. Let okay, now we're going to try something else, okay? We're going to try something else. I want you to um, write something in negative, something that you didn't do today, that you wanted to do and you didn't do. For example, I didn't, I didn't watch, I didn't go to the, I didn't go to the movie theater, for example. I didn't go to the movie theater. I wanted to go, but I, I wasn't able to go. Let's see, I didn't eat Mexican food today. I didn't go to the movie theater. I did not go to the gym today. So you wanted to go to the gym and you didn't, you were not able to. I did not play soccer the last Monday. I didn't eat Mexican food today. Probably you wanted to eat Mexican food. You didn't do it. I ate pupusas. Okay, very good. <laughs> I think I didn't go let's see I didn't I did not go outside today very good I did not go to the supermarket I didn't I didn't go to the gym very good I didn't go to the club to the club tonight right I didn't go to the park today very good now I want I didn't like spicy food I didn't like spicy food okay yes my children didn't go to the school. Yes, right. The, the classes were suspended, right? So your children didn't go. Probably you, you had fun with them over there. I didn't eat pupusas. I didn't do my homework. You have to do your homework, okay? You have to do your homework. And I, okay, now I want you to write something with the verb to be with the formulas i didn't clean my room today okay very good i didn't rest this day yeah probably you're a little bit tired but we're about to rest i didn't full gasoline my car last weekend i didn't go to the theater today i didn't go to the home of my friend i didn't go home i didn't go to the home no i didn't go home or i didn't go my friend's house today or my friend's home today very good now I want you to write something with the verb to be. Um, something that, for example, where you, where were you today at at noon? Uh, at twelve p.m. Where were you? Where were you? Tell me where were you exactly today at noon? Yesterday my wife didn't work. For example, today at noon I was with my friend. I was in my friend's house. I was in my friend's house. Today at noon, I was in my friend's house. I was in my grandmother's house. Very good. Today at noon, she was a, or he was in my grandmother's house. They were not glad with me, with my speech last month. She was in the park. Very good. I was sick the last week. Oh, sorry for you. I was with my friend's house. I was with my lover. <laughs> I was with my lover who wrote that. I was with you. Okay, very good. I was, when was your birthday? That is a question, right? That is a good question. That is that is correct. I, when was your birthday? I was in my job at noon. Yeah, probably many people were in their job, probably at noon in their jobs. 
I was at the supermarket. They were very funny. I was at home because I work from home. Okay, yes, I also work from home, like right now, right? Yeah, very good. I was in my friend's house. I was in my friend's in the court. She was in the park. Very good. Now, tell me, uh, I want you to write a question with the verb to be in the past. For example, where, uh, where you, I was at home. Very good. For example, when was your birthday? When was your birthday? When was your birthday? That is a question with the verb to be in the past. That is a WH question, right? What, uh, another one was, And we are going to ask you these questions, right? When was your birthday? Were you sick last week? For example, my birthday was on June 19th. It is, it is June 19th, okay? My birthday was on September 17th. My birthday was on December. December starts with D-E, right? December, Dece December, right? Remember to write correctly December, very good. Many questions. Where, when were you last night? Very good. Where were you last night? Very good. Let me see. My birthday is on November 24th. My birthday was on 20. Okay, very good. Very good. Now I can see that you are able to write correctly. Okay. Now, when you were born, when you were born or when were you born? When were you born is correct, right? It's the correct way to write it, right? Where, who was with you yesterday? Very good. Who was with you yesterday? Very good. So I can see that many of you can write, can follow the structures. So probably the main problem here is that sometimes we, um, we get stuck with our vocabulary, right? With uh, the things that we want to say or... Uh, Sometimes we don't know how to say, it, right? Like the words that we mentioned today that we are going to keep on practicing. So thank you. We are going to stop the activity right now and we are going to continue with another activity. So since who was with you? When were you born? When, when were you born? Exactly. That's the correct way. When you were born? No. When were you born? Remember the formula, the order. Where you at the supermarket where you yes that's correct remember the formula you need to follow that order very good so we are going to stop the activity right now we are going to continue with another activity related to um talking right speaking we are going to continue with a conversation let's see here we have a conversation here and we are going to practice it, okay? It says, um, this is a conversation. We are going to practice this. We are, uh, it says, hello, my name is Shirley. What's your name? My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Where were you born? I was born in Salvador. Were you born in Central America? No, I wasn't. I was born in Salvador de Bahia in Brazil. That's great. I wish I was born in Brazil. I love soccer. So I want you to practice this conversation right now. I just need two volunteers. I don't know who wants to Okay, Estela and Olivia. Okay, Estela will be Shirley or letter A and Olivia will be Carlos or letter B, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello, 
My name is Shirley. What's your name? My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Where were you born? I was I was born in Salvador. Were you born in Central America? No, I wasn't. I was born in Salvador in Bahia, the Bahia in Brazil. That's great. Was uh, was I was born in Brazil? I love you, Sophia. Okay, very good. I wish, I wish I was born in Brazil. What does it mean? I wish. I yes, wish. como desearía, desearía haber nacido. Desearía. Uh -huh. I wish me hubiera I was, gustado. Me hubiera gustado, exactly. I wish I was born in Brazil. I love soccer. So I just need two other volunteers, two other. Let me see here. We are going to have. Who says me teacher? I am teacher. Griselda, right? Yeah. Okay, Griselda. And who else? I am teacher. Okay. Okay, very good, Mr. Luis. So I want you to use your own information, okay? Instead of Shirley, you can say, my name is Luis, or my name is Claudia, right? You can use your own information. Let's practice, okay? One more time. Hello, my name is Shirley. What's your name? My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Where were you born? I was born in El Salvador. Were you born in Central America? No, I wasn't. I was born in San in Salvador de Bahia in Brazil. That's great. I wish I was born in Brazil. I love soccer. Okay, very good. Clap for you. Very good. Very good. So pro you can use your information, right? But it's really good. It's different, right? There is another city in Brazil that is called Salvador de Bahia. And many people get confused. Sometimes they go to Salvador de Bahia yes. and they are sent to El Salvador in Central America. That has happened before. But um, in this case, it's Salvador de Bahia in Brazil, not in Salvador, yeah. El Salvador yeah. in Central America. Very good. Now we are going to have a very uh, similar conversation. This is again Shirley with Carlos. And this is as um, a conversation you can see that is kind of incorrect. So I want you to transform this conversation into, into the past because they are speaking, but they are speaking using the present, right? For example, it says, hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you. I'm also happy to see you. What do you do this weekend? I go to the shopping center. I buy many shoes. It was great. Do you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I do. What do you do on the weekend? Well, I go to play football. I'd be very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. So we are going to correct it right now. First, it says, hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you. Is that sentence correct in the conversation? No. Why not? Hello, Carlos. I was so glad to see you. Yes, yes. Let's say it is, I was so glad to see you. But when we meet people, for example, in this conversation, let's say it is correct, right? Because I'm glad to see you today. Está bien. Porque le está diciendo que está alegre de verlo, a uh, ver a Carlos de nuevo. Está contenta de verlo. Entonces, digamos que está bien, pero muy bien. Very good. Now, the second one. The second one. Digamos que ellos se separaron y ahora están reencontrándose. It says, I'm also happy to see you. What you do this weekend? What do I do this weekend? Very good. Very good, Alejandro. Very good, Jenny. What did you do? So remember the formula, right? In WH questions is the auxiliary. What did you do this weekend? Now, the next one, I go to the shopping center. 
I went to the shopping center. I went. I went. Very good. Went. I went, right? The past of go is went. went. The next one is I buy many shoes. I bought many shoes. It was. I bought. I bought many shoes. Very good. It was great. That is correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. 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 Past. It's in the past already. Very good. Next one. Do you have fun? Did you have fun? Did you? Very good. So we transform do into the past, right? Did and have is the same. So that is a just no question. Did you have fun? I bet you did. I bet you did means I am sure you, you did have fun. You had fun, right? Estoy seguro que tuviste, que te divertiste. I bet you did. I bet you did. I, mean, I bet you did. Exactly. Next one. Of course, I do. I did. Exactly. Of course, I did. Of course, I did. Of course, I did. What did you, what did you do, do on the weekend? Very good. What did you do on the weekend? What did you do? Very good. It says, well, I go to play football. Well, I, I went. went. I went. Very good. I went to play football. I'd be very happy playing soccer. I was, I was very I happy. Was. Very good. I was very happy I playing was soccer. very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. Is that correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. Exactly. It's, it's already in the past. And guess what? Y adivina que? We won. We won, right? Ganamos. We won. Very good. So this is the uh, conversation already with everything. Hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so happy to see you. What did you do this weekend? I went to the shopping center. I bought many shoes. It was great. Did you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I did. What did you do on the weekend? Well, I went to play football. I was very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. Very good. So, de tarea, lo que le voy a dejar en este caso es eh, que usen su propia información. Mañana vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y vamos a tener esta conversación, una conversación similar. Y una persona, eh, por ejemplo, el Mr. Carlos, le va a preguntar a Liliana, Liliana, por ejemplo, ¿qué hizo este fin de semana? What did you do this weekend? Y ella le va a decir qué hizo, ¿verdad? Y después, eh, él le va a decir qué hizo este fin de semana, o puede ser este hoy o ayer, ¿ok? So, what we are going to do is that this conversation, ¿ok? We are going to work in couples. We are going to um, do this conversation about what we did last weekend or what we did today or what we did yesterday. And we are going to have, uh, give like some examples, short examples, right? A little conversation. So we are going to take this example and tomorrow we are going to practice it, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have any question right now uh, before finishing the class? No question. No question. No question. Okay, no question. so it was very good to see you again. Mañana quisiera que participaran las personas que no participaron hoy, ¿verdad? Tatiana, por ejemplo, o por ejemplo, Olivia, Andrea, Griselda, eh, Hugo, Hugh. Alba, Paola, también Claudia, para que tratemos de participar todos porque somos bastantes, hay 28 en la clase, así que eh, prepárense eh, y sean voluntarios, ¿verdad? Porque siempre hay gente que quiere participar más y está bien, pero vamos a tratar de participar todos. Muchas gracias a los que Teacher, participaron hoy. I have, I have a question. The yes, Friday, the Friday uh, we have we will have English class? Yes, Friday? this Friday we will have English class because we are going to uh, cover it, the one that we didn't do uh, on Monday. We are going to do it on Friday, okay? Thank you. At the okay. same time, at the same time, okay? So on Friday okay. we will have classes. Uh, okay. If you have questions, let me know with the WhatsApp group and I wish you a very good evening and rest okay see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you teacher tomorrow. see you bye good night, bye. Good night.
Good night. Right, Good night. teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.